Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week three of our PGL matches. This is going to be up against Gearheart and his Seattle Staraptors and a super scary team. But right off the bat, I am a little bit relieved that he did not bring along the Skarmory. That would have been a huge, huge pain in the ass. But clearly the Serena is going to be a huge problem. The Delphi is going to be a huge problem. One's going to be a huge problem for my Zygarde and my Primarina for that matter. And the other for my Jirachi. So hopefully we can play around that. The Mimikyu, of course, is gonna be a huge pain. Mimikyu is really good in this format, in my opinion. But I think my team matches up well. I did do a last second swap over to a Specs Primarina, as well as a Specs Hydreigon. We have a Leftovers, Umbreon, more or less max defense with a Dragon Dancing Zygarde. I believe it has the Yaji Berry and a Life Orb Nihilego with a Speed Beast Boost. I think we matched up as well as we could have here. Let's just start the battle. And I'm pretty positive that I led with Primarina. I thought that um, there was a definite possibility of him leading with Mamoswine, lead rocks kind of situation. As I believe he does. Yeah, that is Mamoswine. And I'm in here with my Primarina. The obvious switch in is the Serena. Now, I don't know. I just kind of went for the Surf. I just wanted to get damage off turn one. I should have gone for Moonblast in retrospect, but this is a Specs Primarina, so we still do get a huge, huge chunk off on that uh, Serena. Now, I clearly, I clearly didn't make any predictions. I'm not sure if he's going to try, but I'm just kind of predicting the Grass type move, the Power Whip possibly. Power Whip can do huge, huge damage, so I got into High Dragon if I remember correctly. And uh, Hydreigon can just eat up a hit, even though, I mean, again, this could possibly have high jump kick, play rough, any type of thing that could, you know, do a huge, huge dent to Hydreigon right now. Just go for the drop kick, take it like a champ, attack goes down, it's fine. Now, we're in another situation here. I believe I just go for a U-turn here just to get most of the momentum off, but um, I definitely wanted to Dark Pulse. I definitely wanted to, I mean, if anything, I definitely wanted to, to um, Draco Meteor as well, but obviously the Mankey's in the back. There was a bit just too much to um, really be fearful of. And I also wanted a Fire Blast, but in any case, he, he obviously expected the Fire Blast goes into the Del Fox. But I just U-turn, get some more momentum. Now, here's where I try to make a play. I kind of felt that the Serena was gonna, was gonna come back in, and I go for the Moon Blast. So I end up going for the Moon Blast on the Switch, and right now, in all honesty, I'm feeling fan freaking tastic about, uh, making, about calling that Switch in and being able to take out that Serena a this early on and just Primarina just flexing and sh and doing such huge damage on that uh, Serena that I believe was confirmed to be a uh, max special attack at that point. But here we are, I obviously don't want to be in against this Manetric, so I go into the Umbreon here and he was clearly expecting me to go into the Hydreigon, which fair play, completely fl fair play, but uh, I thought Umbreon would be the better kind of pivot here and you can see he goes for the HP Ice, expecting the Hydreigon switch. Um, Hydreigon clearly could have taken like any type of electric type move or overheat or anything like that. But I just wanted to kind of, you know, reset everything, especially since uh, my Hydreigon is not scarfed at specs. So I think he might have thought that the Hydreigon would be specs or that it would be scarfed. So I wanted to play a bit more aggressively. But here, Umbreon just takes these hits like a champion as I go for the wish. But I super, super wish that I had the the baton pass. I wish I could have found room for the baton pass here. Um, I ended up giving up the baton pass slot that I was considering for heal bell just in case anything happened that I didn't really see coming, but I ended up not doing it. I knew it would have given me the freest of initiative, especially against this Lucario, but it ends up doing kind of the same thing uh, as he goes for the close combat and I get all of my HP back from the wish, but I could have been in a slightly better position if I'd just been able to choose what I wanted to switch into. Instead, he just gets to go in into this Del Fox for pretty much free, as I can't really hit it much other than just going for a Zen Head, but it does a decent amount of damage, just obviously not enough. I have to switch out here. And I believe, oh, I go into the Nihil Lego here, and I believe he just burns me. He tried to burn the Jirachi in that situation. And uh, this is a moment where I actually just kind of forgot how fast Delphox was. I believe Delphox is base 104. I have a Delphox in the UBL, but for whatever reason, it just kind of... It, if anything, I forgot that Neat Lego is base 103 and that uh, Delphox has one base point over 
and just destroys me with his Psy Shock. If anything, when I saw Psy Shock, even though like I messed up and I let uh, this Delphox not speed me, it kind of messed me up that uh, Psy Shock did that much. I know it's super effective and I know it's hit me, it's hit, hits me on the physical side, but yikes. Then I go into Zygarde and I immediately recognize that that's a mistake. I was hopefully, I, I, th I thought maybe I could like bluff the Lumberry or something like that, but I immediately recognized that I made a mistake because he just revealed will -Wisp and, I was, and I had a double for no reason into the Hadragon. The Hadragon gets burned. It's, again, just, I don't know why I did that. It was a complete mistake. But again, here's another situation. The Delphox is right there. It kind of has to switch. I knew it had to switch. There was no reason for me not to go for the U-turn there. I could have tried to make a play and like gone for a fire blast or something like that, but there was no reason for me to. All I knew had to do was get initiative with a U-turn there, and that was disappointing. It was a disappointing mistake for me to make, but I give him a free justified boost, and I end up going into the pre-marina just to try to eat up what I expected to be the close combat coming in, but instead he goes for the bullet punch. I think he knew a plus one, um, especially with the residual burn damage that uh, it would be able to take out the Hydra again. I didn't calc it, but I imagine he did, and he knew how much damage he was doing with a plus one bullet punch. And this just gives him a free chance to go for a Z Thunder Punch. I assume it's a Z Thunder Punch, at least. I don't think it gets any stronger electric type moves, but the Giggle, the Giggle Bolt Havoc comes in, and I didn't see it coming. And especially a plus one, it's going to destroy this uh, Primarina right here. And, yikes, I'm just kind of concerned at this point. I, I can feel myself just like making bad plays in this whole sequence and it's just, um, and it's just giving him all the momentum. All the momentum that I had early on is completely given back to him. I go into Zygarde, um, I'm just kind of expecting a, a an Ice Punch. It, it is a Yachi Berry Zygarde, so I figure I get the free Z Dragon Dance up, which there was no reason for me to do this. Again, this is another super disappointing play. I don't know why I did this um, in the moment. I tried my best to like have some some sort of a linear strategy, but it just didn't end up working because obviously even if I do get to plus four, he's still, or whatever, uh, he still has a Mimikyu in the back that's going to be able to eat up the first hit to break the disguise. And it just play roughs me, right? So I don't really, I, I, I can't really afford to take that much damage and I don't know why I stayed in. Now here's where I finally got a chance to do something with that Yachi Berry as I eat up a an Ice Shard on one HP. But I do eat it up, and I am able to Thousand Arrows, this Mammoth Swine. It does quite a bit of damage, just not enough, but I am able to pick it up with an Extreme Speed next turn. But again, still, I'm, like, in the moment, I was so upset with myself. I'm kicking myself because there's no reason for me to make these plays. Zygarde has now t taken some more, way more damage than it needed to, and granted, it did get two KOs, but ultimately, there was no reason for me to play it that loose and that poorly. And I just get taken out by a Shadow Sneak here. And what it does is it just sets up an end game where I'm kind of left with, Jir with Jirachi and Jirachi can't win. But I do have the Hydreigon as well, but the Hydreigon can't win either. And I kind of needed, I kind of needed um, my Pokemon to work together to kind of take out the, the threats. I was in a situation where one Pokemon couldn't just tear through the other team and like I said, I just gave him all the momentum. He sets up an end game where he just kind of wins at this point. And I try to go into this thing. I believe he just calls the Volt Switch here. And at this point, it's kind of over. It's not quite over, but it would take a lot for me to win at this point. And I kind of felt the Swords Dance coming here. So I try to at least make somewhat of a play. And just foul play here not try to do anything you know cute just bring the disguise so that maybe just maybe jirachi can clutch this out in the end and at that point it's my only hope so the disguise is broken he can take me out with a play rough so actually from this range um i, I would have taken a play rough but it was life orb so i couldn't take a play rough so i had to make that call correctly it wasn't like uh i I could just take a hit and be fine, but then obviously a plus two it just does me in but at that point I got the disguise broken. It's all I really needed in this situation as I just go back into uh, Jirachi and at this point there's just no um, 
being cute anymore. I just go for the straight up iron head. At this point, I have to flinch out something to try to eke out a win. He, you know, kind of expects me to play those switching games, but again, I just don't want to play those games anymore. And he can juggle intimidates for all I know as well. That, uh, that play is definitely open to him. My iron heads are not doing nearly enough and I am doing a bit more than I would expect for being a resisted hit, but and this isn't a max attack Adam and Jirachi as he goes out again and I'm just doing no damage at this point because Jirachi can't win this for me and a non-scarved Hydreigon can't win this for me in the end either. I really needed my other Pokemon to come through. I just played that sequence in the middle so poorly that gave him the momentum and I gave him certain Pokemon for free that I just really didn't have to. As he goes for the Mystical Fire, we do take one, my special attack drops, but it's fine. At this point, I'm just playing for a flinch, maybe two, take out a Pokemon, possibly. Um, but no, he just goes for the Mystical Fire and it's gonna be pretty much the game. I do have the Hedrigan in the back, but he will not speed the Hedrigan. He will be able to take me out. And if anything, I'm just disappointed, if nothing else. I made some plays that I really didn't have to make and I just gave him all the momentum in the world that I really didn't have to. I had some plays where I tried to call them and I tried to anticipate what he was going to do but there was no reason for me to do that. I, all I had to do was click U-turn, live to play another turn and I would have at least kept myself a step ahead instead of just kind of falling backwards if he just makes you know a basic read like that Lucario play is a perfect example where I got aggressive I tried to hit the Del Fox that was right in front of me when I knew in my head that, that the Lucario could and should have justified and when all I had to do was click U-turn and give myself a little bit of momentum I didn't and then of course the way that I played that Zygarde was really just disappointing I'm not upset at all that I lost but that was a really disappointing way to play and to lose but with that thank you guys so much for watching we'll be back again with some more battles of course and of course gg to gearheart it will definitely definitely recover but until then once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll be once again out